Hello YouTubers, welcome to my channel. Like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when new content comes out. Hello viewers, this is Sam's Automotive bringing another episode in how DIY. Today we got a 2007 Murano. What we're doing here is we're gonna just replace the clutch. I got this clutch from uh, eBay. I uh, came from um, Royal Palm Beach, Florida. Item number is CL668. And this is what it brings. Okay. So you'll have the whole thing here. You'll have the pulley with the new... Uh, with a new bearing okay you'll have um, the coil brand new coil good quality last you'll have the clutch engagement okay then it's a little package here you have the middle bolt with the three um, uh, three bolts that holds the this guy here okay so the tools you're going to need are you're going to need a puller part number you can rent this uh, online I mean I'm sorry uh, AutoZone 27078 and then you'll you need a, a ring uh a plier so you can get the, the ring that goes on the middle I'm gonna show you in a little bit so first step you want to do is race your car safety first guys uh, put a tower make sure the wheels in the air so next time uh, next um, next step is taking the wheel off there we go, wheel is off. Now we have access to our uh, clutch. If you can remove uh, this piece here, the, uh, we'll call this the, the shield, the dust shield, that would be uh, helpful uh, because all this is gonna be exposed. So the first thing you wanna remove, you wanna remove the belt, loosen the tensioner up here, okay? That's gonna be a 14 here, 14, lose that. And there is a bolt, I think goes from, from bottom to the top. If it's not, I think it might be, yeah, from the top to the bottom. And you need to lose that. Once you lose that, the belt is gonna, it's gonna um, pull out. Once you have the belt out, in this case, um, this belt snap, reason being, you see this, you see how wobbly, this this clutches this clutch is pretty bad uh very important guys um if you ac is good this fix is for you if you ac compressor is no good this fix will not work for you guys in this case as you can see it's very rigid the middle um pulley here right there tells me that this clutch i mean that this compressor is 100 percent good problem is this pulley right here you can see um it's bad okay and that's the reason why i'm going to change the whole thing okay okay to pull this dust shield is pretty easy guys all you got to do is remove three bolts are in the bottom this guy's here okay there's three of them in the bottom Okay. The next thing you want to do is put this 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 guy's here. Just kind of a going angle. There we go. If you break them, you have to get new ones. Ah, uh, usually if they break, there you go. They're so brutal. Sometimes it's plastic. So there's one. 
and that should be uh that should be another one uh, right there there you go so it's two clips and two bolts and then this whole thing comes out of here okay put it to the side now we have access to our um compressor here so now we're going to go ahead and pull the bolt here okay we'll go ahead and pull this guy out number 10 that's it that's number 10 bolt then we'll go ahead and take this out Kind of pry this thing out. Just kind of pry her out. Go around, go around. You can see it has a little resistance. Okay, so there you go. That piece came out. All right. Now, when you now the next step here, okay, is to pull the safety clip right there. Okay, that's gonna be a uh, with the snap ring. I'm gonna remove that ring or the safety clip, whatever you want to call it, that's going to be next. Okay guys, it's already out. Just got it careful with your face. This snap ring is ready to come out. There's this wrap ring. Okay. Now, this piece is ready to come out. Same thing uh, that I was doing before. Kind of pray it out. It's going to be a little stuck in there. Reason being, for the timing, it's being there. All right, so this one. It's not coming out even it's very damaged. Here comes our tool. And that's where our puller come in. Usually uh, when they damage like that, they come out, but not in this one. I think uh, still got a little force in there. So we'll go ahead and put the, uh, the pulley on it. Okay, so we got that attached, the tool. So now what we do is wrench until this piece comes out. Try to use the gun. I think it's already. There you go, guys. Okay. Pull this out. You see the bearing is all destroyed. All the bolts is coming in. It's 
they're coming out. Now, what we have left is the coil. See the coil, how it was burned? Pretty bad. Okay. So that, that that's what's coming out next. As you can see, this uh, coil is held by those three screws. And make sure the center that, you see that hole right there? You're gonna have that in the other coil. So we'll go ahead and try to remove those uh, those three bolts. Okay. That's one. That's two. That's three. Okay. New what comes out with the wire. See the wire got all fry. Okay. Our new coil come with the new wire. Okay. So this is going to be the reverse way. Make sure that you guys clean the whole area here. So everything be nice and clean. So we'll get this um this wire out. And then we plug the new one in. We'll put the new coil. Okay, here's the comparison of the new elements and the old components. Okay. So you can see everything, it's laid out right there. As the old ones. As the new ones. Like I say, everything is on this package. Everything you need is on this package. Uh, one thing I forgot to tell you guys. You'll see Two little shims in this package okay make sure you put the shim right between here as you can see there we have two shims in there we're trying to get them out but maybe with a tooth teeth or something but those shim they have to be put in here right in here so you just drop in drop both shims right in here like that okay and there we go okay guys that's all to it now we'll go ahead and um remove our new components like i say make sure you clean everything and now uh, we'll be ready to go okay so <clears throat> There's our bolts. Okay, guys, 
there is a new coil. Alrighty. So now we have the coil. We'll connect the wire and make sure there's not um, hidden anything. Okay, the next step is going to be put our, our, uh, or pulley. So we'll go ahead and put the pulley. Just gotta put the connector back again. Okay, as you can see guys, I already have the uh, clutch in. What I had to do is I kinda hit it right here um, with something center. So I hit it right here, like that, right in the middle, and it went in. So the clutch is already in. Next step is put in the uh, the outside power, okay, and voila, on it, it's on it. Now just got to put the bolt. Let's see, I think that changed the number in this bolt. It's probably eleven. Okay, guys. Uh, before putting this, uh, before putting the last piece, I forgot to tell you we need one more piece, and that piece is going to be the lock ring. Okay, this is going to be the last piece that goes in here. All right, so we're going to install that, and uh, we should call it a. A successful job here. Let me see what I did with my pliers. Here they are. So let's put this guy here and here. There we go. Okay, make sure that locks. Okay. So lock, it's right on it. Okay. Now we can go ahead and put the last piece. Okay. Like I said before, make sure you put the shims in there. Okay, so we put this right on it. Make sure to engage. And yes, this is number 10. The number did not change, so make sure it goes right on it. All right, make sure I don't put too much force into this ball here. See, I went a little bit too much, but that's okay. It's probably gonna wear out because it's brand new. That's why you have the little noise there. But you can see now, that's a very good clutch. It has some resistance on it. That tells you right there that you have a good clutch. All right, so that conclude. Um, this video tutorial, how to do your clutch in the 2007 Murano, I believe that applies to any 3.5, including um, Altimas, Muranos, and uh, I think there is another one. I'm not quite sure. I can't remember. Uh, Quest, I believe. The 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 van, the Luban is Quest. Uh, also that. Uh, might include this type of fix but in this case um again the tutorial is for a 07 murano 3.5 all-wheel drive okay again the first thing to check in this guys is is this clutch if it has resistance on it before taking anything out and if there is resistance on it and it's good here then uh you can just uh did what i did which is just clenching uh, changing the whole clutch 
kit and that's the old one right there as you guys can see before I show you all the components are there um, so now I'm just gonna put the belt and um, success thank you for watching guys subscribe give me a thumbs up if you have any question I'll be glad to answer any question that you have again subscribe down below okay god bless you